Good morning, Sibelius users of YouTube. Today we're going to talk about how to create your own template for uh, instrumentation that you don't see in this quick start menu. And this tool is uh, sort of a workflow helper if you do arrangements or compositions for a set group of instruments that is not common in this quick start window you can add a new template for you to start with. So we're going to go ahead and click the blank template in the no category category. And we're going to go ahead and edit our instruments. We're going to add some instruments from the document setup uh, drop down menu. And let's see, I would like to, hmm, what ensemble am I looking for today? How about a tuba quartet? So that's something you don't see in the quick start menu. So we're going to add four tubas to our staves and score. We're going to click OK. At this point, we're actually going to uh, just click Create. We're not going to adjust the time signature or key signature or any tempo text. But if you wanted your template to include any of those things, you would go ahead and um, put them in your score. You'd assign them to your score. So. I don't want any of that. I just want to have like a standard tuba quartet and where I can edit the document at any time when I'm starting up. So we're going to go ahead and click create. And here we have our new baby template. So when I am doing compositions or arrangements for ensembles of the same instrument, I like to designate uh, parts by numerical order. So, you know, tuba one, tuba two, tuba three. So what I'm going to do, I, I uh, just click the text of the instrument that I want to alter. And then I just click space one, hit space two. So we're just assigning parts uh, to make it a little easier when you uh, go into, when you edit your parts or when you print off parts, it just makes it a little clearer. And one final step I'm going to take before we create the template, I'm going to Command-B, Command-B, add some bars so that I get two lines here. And I'm going to adjust this abbreviation to reflect the new instruments that I put on the uh, first line. So I'm just going doing the same process as I did to alter the numbers of the parts on the first stave. And uh, then once you're done with that, you're going to go to File, click um, Export, and then scroll down here to Manuscript Paper. And so underneath, you can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it Tuba Quartet for simplicity. And um, you can uncheck this box, keep the title composer, all that text if you are doing for, uh, for the purposes of uh, writing like a bunch of pieces by the same composer. That might be why you'd use that. In our cases, I'm going to not click, click it because we don't really need it. And in a category, this is what it will appear in when you open Sibelius in the quick start. I'm going to go ahead and select chamber groups. And then, and oh, and this other button you can click if you want to create a totally different, you know, like African fusion ensembles or, you know, whatever. You can click other and add it to uh, any new type that you put in that this box here. All right, we're going to click export. And then when we exit our Sibelius, oh, no, I don't want to save changes. Now we will see our new tube quartet template in the quick start menu. And from here you can add time signature, key signature, anything you want. And that saves you a whole lot of time. Anyway, I hope this is very helpful. Subscribe, leave comments, let me know what you think, what you want to see next. Hope you guys have a great day and, you know, write some great music too. <laughs> Take care.